Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about the difference between a regular chest and a scale chest. Well, a regular chest, of course, only costs boards. So if you're going to go ahead and decide to make it, it only requires three boards in order to make that. If you don't know how to make a board, you basically take four logs. So a total of 12 logs would net you one single chest. Of course, here you get nine spots and then a Unfortunately, though, when it comes to a chest, of course, it could easily be broken and or damaged. And same with, obviously, the scale chest, too. But the difference between the main difference between the two is, of course, if you light the chest on fire or if a fire were to hit it, it's unfortunately going to burn up versus a scale chest cannot do that. How do you obtain a scale chest? Well, guess what? When you actually are going to obtain or able to obtain yourself a... Oh, fling a be quiet over there. I'm going to actually turn it on just so it stops making noise. When you get yourself a scale from killing and or fighting the D-Fly, you can go ahead and manage the... All right, you know what? If you're going to make that noise, Flingamatic, I'm going to have to take you out of here. There, no more noise. When you go ahead and finally kill the D-Fly and or manage to use the D-Fly to get scales, you can take your scale chest and actually create it by using one scale, same with the four, and then fortunately, it does require 10 gold. The 10 gold part is the kind of finicky part that makes you question actually doing it because you can actually go through it and kill the D-Fly or um, what I call is you, you fight the D-Fly to a point and then let it reset, uh, thus basically making it so the D-Fly kind of just gets farmed for scales. The gold, though, is a little bit of an expensive part. Not really, I guess. Eventually, you might ask yourself, well, I can get a lot of gold, so yeah. But the big difference, of course, is the extra little three spots that you get compared to a chest and the fact that it literally cannot be actually set on fire. Well, is that really worth it, though? So you might want to ask yourself, is it actually worth getting yourself uh, into going uh, with... Sorry, I'm going to spawn in a barrager. With spending the money on... Or I wouldn't say money, but spending the gold and resources on getting the scale chest. It is a beautiful little skin, and it does make your character look or your base look a little bit nicer. And of course, it can't be going through the process of catching on fire, as I've already mentioned. But does that really make it worth it? I don't know. I mean, I use the scale chest every now and then for storing really important stuff, specifically things that I don't want to get that I don't want to see on the floor. I usually use it for like gems or something like that. But all in all, it really just depends on you know what your preferences are. So for me. I like the chest. Is it really worth it? I don't know. If they've ever were to change the recipe, I could potentially see myself using it more. But one scale is almost enough. And of course, it can still be broken by regular bosses. That's why I spawn in the Barger. So all in all, it's entirely up to you. I think sooner or later, we might see some more chests available in DST. We've already seen the availability that, you know, Maxwell now is able to actually give us a property where we can have kind of like a magical chest and all that stuff. So we know about that. And that's pretty cool. But of course, you know, as time goes on, I would like to see more things. Maybe some gears that work with chests and some other stuff would be really cool. I don't even know. But regardless, it is a pretty cool little fancy little chest. I just don't know if it's completely worth it. The not being able to get set on fire is not really super awesome. It's kind of like a perk that if you don't have a fling you don't have to worry about it. It does look fancy. I just think that the gold is a very expensive perk for it. And already when it's non-flammable is okay. But you can also get yourself the flooring that makes it not flammable too. So there's a few different things about it. You let me know down in the comments what you believe to be the most important thing about the chest and if you think it's better than a regular one, which of course it is, but is it really worth it is the, is the age-old question. So in my case, I'm going to say it's not necessarily worth it, but if you have the resources, why not make it? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.